so today's chat video is going to be a little bit different we're going to give my honest opinion and review on the blue apron mail order meal system um, i started doing this over the quarantine with my daughter and my husband as just like a family bonding activity to kind of see if we could all like get in the kitchen together especially them to to just kind of have something to do as an activity together so we said all right we'll order these like hello fresh or blue apron or since we're in New Jersey and Blue Apron was a New Jersey based company, we decided to go with the Blue Apron. So to get to the point of it all, let me give you my brief short opinion on what I think as a whole. As a whole, I think it's a good idea. If you're a novice cook and you really have no cooking foundation, it's definitely a good idea because there's not a lot of measuring. Mostly everything is pre-portioned, pre-packaged. And it's a very um, easy to follow step-by-step -step directions. I think they give you pretty much everything you need. So you don't need a lot of at-home pantry ingredients. So you can follow these recipes and not feel like, okay, when this comes in the mail, I'm also going to have to take a lot of things out of my pantry. Every now and then you're going to have some basic salt, pepper, olive oil that you may need in your pantry. But overall, everything you need to make the meal comes in the kit. I'm gonna show you quickly the kit, the meal that we're gonna do today is called pasta bolognese. It does come with a nice, bright, colorful meal card, but I lost mine, so this is a printout. Then it comes with everything that you need. Some things I have out here are from my own pantry, but we'll get to that later. This comes, this is actual our meat. This is the grass-fed beef that comes in the kit. You get enough for, this is a family of four portion that we order. Um, it also came with a bag of carrots, a bag of pasta, a small head of butter lettuce, a clove of garlic, and then this is what they call the knickknacks. It's a bag full of smaller other ingredients that you might need. In this one, here, I'll go ahead and open it so I can show you guys exactly what is in the bag. So every meal comes with one of these bags that's called the bag of knickknacks, which is usually the seasoning or the herbs or the things like that. This one is has some skim milk ricotta, a Parmesan cheese stick, grade A cream, pickled Gotham peppers, mascarpone cheese, and vegetarian Worcestershire sauce. So that's all I got in my knickknack bag. So, like I said, overall, you get exactly what you need to create the meal. It all works pretty well together. It's easy to follow directions. You don't need a lot of cooking skills. You do need basic cooking skills, how to boil water, basically how to saute, how to um, do basic like mixing, knowing like maybe what spoon or what knife to use, but very basic cooking skills. If you've made anything in the past, you probably can make this. Um, and that's pretty much it. Those are my positives on the meal plan. Uh, my negatives on this are that if you order the family of four, you literally get a portion of four. There's no leftovers, there's no extra, do not get hungry again. Like whatever the FDA approved portion control measures are, that's exactly how much you're getting. If it says a portion is three ounces of beef, each person is getting three ounces of beef. So for my family, I like to cook where we're gonna have a lot of leftovers. I like to have like, make a pot of something and then they can kind of graze all day or we can have some for the next day, pack for lunches or meal prep. This does not allow for any of that. So if you're that kind of family, this isn't it. Or order two cases. If you have a family of four, get eight so that you can have enough for leftovers or seconds or anything because you will not have that with this. Um, another downside is because they want you to have all of the ingredients given to you through their meal plan, they don't require a lot of added ingredients. That's a pro and a con. A pro because you don't have to worry about like, oh, am I gonna get this home and still need a lot of other things? But a con because it minimizes the amount of seasonings and flavors that they give you in the bag. So almost everything is seasoned strictly with salt and pepper. Every now and then you'll get an Italian herb packet or something like that. But for the most part, all the meats are seasoning with salt and pepper. 
they don't give you exact measurements of salt and pepper so it's kind of salt and pepper to your own taste but if you like other flavors like i do a little more depth of flavor like i do salt and pepper is not enough sometimes the meats are pretty bland um another downside to it besides the portions and it's bland sometimes the pa the meals come two at a time for us we ordered two meals a week so they come both at the same time you do get a lot of fresh produce or sometimes fresh herbs or something with milk-based products that need to be refrigerated and if you don't cook it pretty much when it comes or within the next two days you will be throwing out the produce or the milk-based products or all of that so you have to stay on task as far as like if i'm going to make this three times a week you really do have to make it three times a week or you're going to end up throwing away a lot of things so that's another downside to it um the only other downside, I guess I could say, if you make a mistake, you mess up anything, they're only enough for what they give you. So if you mess up, oh, I poured the wrong thing in, I spilled it, I whatever, there's none left over to make a mistake. Like they give me this little bottle here of Worcestershire sauce. If I spill this, if I lose it, if I make a mistake, I don't have it anymore. Um, a bonus, one of the good things that I didn't mention before that I do like, it forces me out of my comfort zone as far as trying new things. Like. Um, one of the things that I've been trying now that I've gotten from this is like this farm raised butter that I would have never probably picked up in the regular grocery store. Not really my thing. I'm a little bit cheap. I try to stay cost effective. I probably wouldn't have bought it, but it's actually a really good butter. So it now it's something that I wouldn't have bought, but now I'm out of my comfort zone and now I probably will buy it again. Um, something like this Parmesan cheese. I don't really know this brand, Ambrosi. I'm gonna try it today when I make this meal. If I like it, it might be something I buy again. So it is good in the sense that it's gonna kind of broaden your horizons and kind of help you to make things that you wouldn't have normally made, something outside your comfort zone. Um, and also to uh, mostly everything comes with some type of sauce or glaze. And if you're not a glaze sauce kind of person or you're always with basic marinara or gravy or basic sauces, this will teach you some ingredients that can go into different sauces. So even if you're doing the same chicken or beef or something, you can learn a new sauce to go on top. Um, that's pretty much all I have to say about it. Um, I don't really have anything else bad about it. On my next video, we're gonna actually cook through this meal right here, which is the pasta bolognese. Um, if you have any questions or anything that I didn't cover or any like specific questions about it, drop them in the, the description box below or just drop them in the comments and I will answer them for you. Um, anything like maybe I didn't mention, if you want to know cost, if you want to know anything else, just hit the comment section and I will respond to your questions. Um, that's pretty much all I have to say about it. And I guess we'll get cooking and you guys can just go click on to my next video and you'll see this meal be prepared.